how to use deep brain AI. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use deep brain AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and finally go to AIstudios.com and you will be directed in here in which it will show you some of the features that they offer in this platform. And you can also start with a template. You will see a variety of template below, such as a template video for business, beauty, report, and many more. And now let's say you want to choose a template. So kindly click on the template below, in which upon doing so, it will lead you in here. And from here, you will see the content of the template that you select, including the context, the AI avatar, and the other details about this video template. But in this video, I'm going to choose to create my new video. And to do that, kind of click this button that says New Project. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, you can start creating your own video. In which on the left side panel, you will see how many number of slides that your video contain. And aside from that, you can also customize or rename the title of your slides by clicking on its title and entering the name or title that you prefer. You can also add the slide by clicking this plus button. Well below, you will see the layering of this video. In which as you can see, we have the layer of background and model of our video. And if you want to customize it, kind of click on it. And after that, you will see on the right side panel, some of the editing tools or elements that you can choose. And as you can see on background option, you can change the background color that you prefer. Or alternatively, you can upload from your computer or import a computer files or media files that you want to set as your background of the video. Under the color option, you can choose the different variations of color, such as peach, white, green, and many more. While under the stock option, you can choose the stock images that are free in this platform. And aside from background, you can also customize the project title. By selecting this title and deleting this, you can customize your own project name. And after entering the project name, kindly of proceed by clicking the apply button. And aside from that, you can also change the AI model. By clicking on the model, you will be directed on the model option, which is located on the right side panel. In which under the AI models, you can choose a variety of models such as male, female, black, white, or any different kind of race that you prefer. I'm going to select this guy as a model, in which it will also show you the option, such as full body, head, or voice only. But I'm going to select the only head option, in which the model only show its head in my video. You can also adjust or resize the model picture and its position in your timeline, such as the scale, the position X and Y, and the Z index, in which you can all customize all that in here. And aside from that, under the AI models, it will also enable you to choose its own voice, in which by clicking in here below the timeline, you can select a different kind of voice that you want, such as English, United States, soft male, news male, normal male, and many more. And aside from English, you can also select the other language such as Arabic, Korean, Bulgarian, Chinese, and many more. In which upon clicking on it, kindly proceed by clicking Apply in All. But in this video, I'm going to select its own original voice. Now going back, aside from its voice, you can also customize the script that you want it to say. And the speed on how fast the AI need to deliver the speech. You can also take the action such as undo and redo. Now to enter the script of AI, either click in here and enter the script that you want. And remember that the language that has been detected in this script is English. And upon entering the script, you can also upload your own voice in here or upload an audio from your computer. And aside from those editing tools, you can also add a text or context in this video by clicking on text option which is located on the left side panel in which you have four options such as to add a header, title, main text, and caption. 
But in this video, I'm going to choose to enter a title. So can I click on it? And from here on the right side panel, you can enter or customize the text that you want. Let's say sample text in which the below option you will see under the font, a variety of English font that you can choose. We have the Poppins Bold, Poppins Regular, Poppins Italic, and many more. And aside from font, you can also change the color of this context. And to do that, kind of click on color and select the color that you prefer in this context. And aside from color, you can also change its background, its border, alignment, padding, scale, and how big do you want to make it look like in your video. And its position, such as X and Y position, the Z index, and the opacity on how transparent or bold you want it to be. Now moving on on the other editing tools, which is located on the right side panel, which is the subtitle, in which by clicking this generate subtitle, it will automatically generate the subtitle or the script that has been saying by this model. And aside from that, under the image option, you will see a variety of stock images that you can choose in order to add images in your video. But before that, let's just make another slide of our video. And to do that, kind of click the plus button, which is located on the left side panel. And from here, the next thing that we need to do is to add the background color. And after that, the next thing that we need to do is to edit the AI models and make its head only visible in our video. Now, after editing or customizing the background and the AI models, we can now start uploading an image. So under the stock image, kindly choose the image that you prefer. And after that, you can customize the scale of it, the position of X and Y, the Z index, and the opacity of how transparent and visible you want to make this picture. And you can also drag the picture to edit or customize its position in the video. And aside from that, you can also upload or import from your computer a media files that will be used in this video. Likewise, in the image tools, under this video tools, you can also choose a video from stock video or upload or import from your computer files the video that you want to upload in this timeline. And aside from those editing tools, you also have on the left side panel, the audio that will enable you to choose your own music that you can put in your timeline, in which you will see a variety of audio files that you can choose. Or alternatively, you can upload from your computer files. And aside from audio options on the editing tools, you can also discover and explore the shapes option in which you will be able to choose an elements of shape that you prefer. While the last option is the animation in which you have the pipe option of animation such as to the left, up, right, or down. Or if you don't want to, kind of click the none option. And now that you're done editing or customizing your video, you can now proceed by exporting your video. So just click the export button, which is located on the top right corner. And after that, just log in or sign up your account, in which you can sign up using your Google account. And after signing in, it will show you the three options in order to export your projects, such as video, audio, and chroma key. So that is just how to use DeepBrain AI. Thank you.